Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a one brand makeup tutorial doing this look using only MAC Cosmetics. I've been wanting to do a video like this with higher end makeup for a little bit, so if you guys are interested on in seeing how I got this look right here, which is perfect for the holiday season, then let's go ahead and hop right on in. Alright, so to go ahead and begin, I'm taking the MAC Fix Plus. This has been my favorite for years. I just find it really hydrates up my skin. It can set your makeup, hydrate your makeup if you just need a mist. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. You'll see I go back in with this product a lot because I absolutely love it. So I'm going to go ahead and spritz my face. So to go ahead and prime up my lids for shadow, I'm going in with the Studio Finish Concealer Duo. And this is the NW20 and NC25. So you get a nice mixture of both. I'm going to go ahead and tap into the darker one right over here, right up to the brow bone. I have been using MAC products since I was little. It was one of the brands that was obviously the higher end brand that I couldn't afford. So I would save up and if I got one product, I was like so grateful for it, which I still am. But... It's one of the products where I'd be in the mall and I'd be like, oh my god, like that's MAC. Like, MAC. That was always like a big thing for me whenever I got something from MAC. So, yes, MAC has been my favorite for a while. I think it will always be a favorite. So, yeah, that's a little story about MAC. But I figured I'd do a one brand tutorial using MAC since I have so many products. As I just got a lot of the new holiday collection for MAC, the Snowball collection. I'm obsessed like obsessed i wanted to feature some of it so i just zoomed you guys in a little bit but once that's all primed on my eyes i'm going to go in with this mac brush this is the 224 brush i'm going to go ahead and use this burgundy palette such stunning colors absolutely adore it i'm going to go in with these transition colors over here it's just a matte kind of like taupey color i'm going to go ahead and run that into my crease and just get a nice transition and I love this brush. I've been using this brush for years. I just think it's the perfect crease brush. And although it might not fit everybody's crease because it is a little bit bigger and fluffier, I think it's a beautiful blending brush. So if you're not gonna use it for your crease, definitely recommend it to blend because it does a phenomenal blend. Like it totally looks like airbrushed. Just gonna go ahead and buff this into the crease and kind of swish it out. I really love this palette. So I'm just gonna go ahead back and forth and bring a transition to the eye. I have no clue what type of look we're gonna end up with, but hopefully, when I do my transition colors, I love to take the brush and kind of do circular motions in here just to bring the product along into the inner corner a little bit just so it all evenly has like a nice diffused look and it doesn't look like it's just right over here. So that's why I go in like this several times and then go back out. Then I'm gonna go right into this darker color in the center, which is a deeper burgundy brown color. It's not too burgundy, but it's not just brown. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put that right underneath into the actual crease. Blend out just to deepen up that area just a tad. So I might return back to that palette, but for right now I'm gonna go in with this single shadow from their Holiday 2017 collection. You guys, look at this packaging on this. So this is the shadow called It's Snowing. It is their extra dimension shadow. Look at this like print. Yes, packaging, prints, shadow, everything about this collection I literally give an A plus to. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my lid and it's a beautiful, Beautiful, like champagne-y. I'm gonna start off with in the inner corner since I have like a lot of product on the brush. I don't wanna do too much on the lid. Oh yeah, that's really pretty, but I'm actually not gonna use this into my lid. I'll just keep this into the inner corner just cause it's a little bit more pinky than I thought. Really pretty though. So I'm gonna leave that right into the inner corner. It is so pretty. You could definitely see the like extra dimension vibe going on where it looks like it's one color one way and then one color the other way. So I'm gonna go in with the color Stylish Merry, which is another single shadow. You can see that it does have that same vibe going on where when you lean one way, it looks a little bit like a different color. And I apply this with my finger actually. I feel like we'll get more of a payoff that way. Oh my God, that is stunning. We're gonna go ahead and apply that right to the lid. Oh yes, girl. Gonna pop that right into the lid. You get a lot of color, oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Just like so, and I will take a brush and go ahead and blend this out. That's so pretty. I'm gonna go back into that burgundy palette and take that color we use for transition and then that other matte color in the center and get that to blend a little bit more into this area so it's not so 
crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and move over to the face and we'll move back over to the eyes in a little bit. Go ahead and use the MAC Prep and Prime. This is the skin base. I'm gonna apply a little bit to my fingers. I'm gonna do about that much. It looks like it'll cover the entire face. It might be actually too much, but we're gonna roll with it. I'm gonna blend it in with my hands and put it right into the center of my face, wherever I have the most pores and get the most oily, which would be right here. Bring it to the forehead and blend out. The remaining product I like to just like swoosh to the face. I don't put a lot of product over here. For foundation today, I'm gonna go in with the Studio Fix Fluid and this is in the shade NC15. A beauty sponge, this one is not by MAC. I don't have one for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this beauty sponge and it is dampened. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my skin. I mean, it definitely looks like it's matching me. Personally. It just is super light, and it might not be like exact exact, but I will always bronze up. I have never used this foundation before, so this will kind of be like a first impression as well. I will let you guys know how I feel about it towards the end. Um, I have used MAC foundations on other clients and stuff. I actually used all MAC products in beauty school when I was in school, so I am very familiar with like the finishes and all of that, but um, personally myself, I've never used them. So we shall see. Okay, so once I have all of the foundation down, it does look a little bit light for me, but I'm definitely gonna bronze up and fix that problem. So I would like to bring it down to my neck. So I'm gonna go in with this second shade in the Studio Fix Concealer Palette, which is right here. Apply a little bit to this beauty sponge. And I'm gonna apply it right underneath my eye. Then I go ahead and set that down. I'm taking the MAC Prep and Prime Transparent Powder and bring it down just a little bit more, just like so. This is really good if you have really oily skin as well because it totally soaks up oil like completely. Bring it upwards. I'm gonna add some color back into the skin. I'm gonna go in with this new holiday collection powder. This is the Here Comes Joy face powder. And it's a little bit of like an opalescence color. So it is gonna have some type of shimmer to it. So let's see how this works. If it is too light, I will go in with another face powder, but I really wanted to try this one. This is the 140S brush. Let me dust it right here. I'm gonna quickly go in with my Too Faced bronzer because I want to get some bronze back in the skin. And then we will go in with that opalescence face powder. I do not have a MAC bronzer on hand. I hear they're amazing, but I do not have one right now. So this is gonna have to work. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of this color, which is more of like an opalescence. This is face powder. I look at it more as like a bronzing blush, kind of, if that makes any sense. So I'm just gonna pop it right onto here because it's gonna give additional color. I'm gonna take a little bit of this MAC Oh Darling, which was a limited edition item. I'm not sure if it's back in stock, but this was their last year collection for holiday. I'm gonna take this part and just kind of highlight up on the brow bone. I'm gonna go back in with that burgundy palette. I'm gonna take that middle shade again and run that right onto the lower area of my eye just to deepen it up down here. I just wanna have it being like a little bit smoky, just like so. And then fluff it out a little bit. I think this color is gorgeous. I'm just gonna go make a little bit more of that transition with this shade in this palette. Right over here, just so we have a better blend. For lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and use these 614 from Salon Perfect. I'm gonna pop them on with some Kiss Lash Glue. And then going in with Bold, Bad, and Black Mascara from MAC, I'm gonna go ahead and pop that on my lower lashes, as well as my top ones. And what's really cool is that it has two different types of mascara wands. So you have a chunkier one to blend, and then this tiny one up here that I've used a lot 
for the bottom, which is so tiny and so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one right now. Then I'll go back in with the false one, so I'll speed up that process for you. Go back in with this one right here. This is the chunkier one. I'm gonna blend from only the root. You guys have seen me do this so many times. These are my favorite lashes right now. I just think they look kind of natural, kind of glam put together, but not over the top. The band is super thin, so it still looks like your lashes, I think. I love them. And then I'll go back into the bottom and just get those a little bit more voluminous. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight using the Oh Darling shade. I absolutely love this shade. I'm gonna go ahead and take this brush and Definitely right here is too much for me, so I'm gonna just take another brush and just blend it out. Okay, so once I have that all done, I'm gonna move over to the lips and I'm gonna go in with this Retro Matte Liquid Lip in the shade Cafe Ashik. I believe I'm saying that right, sorry if I'm not. So once the lips are on, I'm gonna spritz my face for one final time. This is the MAC Fix Plus again. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna go ahead and put it all over my face. I'm just gonna make sure that that eyeshadow that we used before is just right into the inner corner and a little bit on this lower lash section to really make the eyes pop. Just like so. So this is it for the one brand makeup look using just MAC products. I actually really love the way that it turned out. I love the shadow, how it has the two kind of shift in the shadow. So if you guys liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me and let me know down below what other one brand tutorials you guys would like to see. And if you do like seeing them, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And until my next one, I will catch you then. Bye.